first, what people are probably going to see on their ballot initiative is Prop 14. This authorizes bonds to be continued to be used for stem cell and other medical research. Could you tell us a little bit about it and, and how could this impact African Americans in the state? Well, uh, in 2004, during the Bush presidency, there was a big divide about whether or not you should use stem cells to help with healthcare uh, investments and treatments. And the federal government actually enacted a ban, congressional Republicans signed by President George W. Bush, on federal funds being used for stem cell research uh, because the thought was that uh, some of those funds, uh, that is, that those stem cells would have come from uh, aborted pregnancies and um, other types of cells that should otherwise be either stored or used for different purposes, and that there were ethical questions about whether or not government should be funding them. So California, uh, with uh, its Democratic majorities in the House, and the, the State Assembly and the State Senate, and then a, a relatively moderate Republican Governor Arnold Schwarzenegger, uh, worked out a system to put its own stem cell funding into place to drive innovation. Hence, the California Institute of Regenerative Medicine was born and it asked, it was put on the ballot to see what the voters thought. It passed overwhelmingly for a few billion dollars to fund state entities that would do research on breakthrough uh, medical um, uh, cures. So how it in impacts African Americans is with chronic conditions like sickle cell and uh, issues with blood pressure and how we process trauma and toxic stress, heart disease. This is an entity that is supposed to be investing in those things. And the question before the voters is, if you vote yes, the question is, do you increase or and extend the funding for a number of years for healthcare investments in medical research? Uh, it primarily tries to work on cures, Parkinson's, et cetera. If you vote no, then l no funding for state healthcare innovation in that way using stem cells. And stem cells are believed to help you really do uh, advanced research to find cures. That's the, that's the whole debate about stem cells. So it's also, so what voters need to know is this is already in existence. Correct. They get additional money um, in a time where we don't have additional money, possibly, you know, obviously we know what's going on with Corona and, and, and what, what's happening here. So is this just to keep things the way they are and it looks like there's no opposition to it right now. So is that, is that what people have to think about, meaning that it's, already, it's something that's already in place and we're just asking voters, do you want to continue down this path? It's, it's nearly exhausted its funds and it has no other sources of revenue other than state bonds. A bond is the equivalent of a line of credit that is paid over a 30 year horizon. So uh, the idea is to ask the voters whether or not they like what they've been getting from the first few billion dollars and if they're willing to use the state's uh, good credit rating to go for more. Um, so th that's the real question. And, and the reason it's coming to the voters is because the funds are largely exhausted. And is there anything that we can tell the audience, if you know this or don't know this right now, and not to try to take you off guard, but is there anything that we would point to that we could say, yes, we have, we, through, these, through this research, we have found a treatment for sickle cell or a treatment for something that would resonate with the African-American community? Specifically on sickle cell at Charles Drew University in conjunction with UCLA, uh, there was a breakthrough in sickle, in sickle cell about two years ago. Uh, the other things have been very advanced uh, Parkinson's treatment, uh, as well as um, uh, improvements with uh, uh, heart medications, cardiovascular the management of cardiovascular disease. So, so there have been advances. Uh, there have been uh, some investments in things that have gotten the cures. Um, 
There are a lot of ways to fund these things. This is one innovative way that doesn't take away from existing state dollars. Uh, it actually is a more of a market mechanism in, in order to manage um, uh, state resources more conservatively. That's what bond funding helps you do. Is that you don't take as much out of the current, you, you, you spread it out over a number of years and you go and borrow against the, bar, the, uh, the line of credit, if you will. Uh, as you find projects that are worthy. Great, great. Well, I think that I've learned a lot from that particular, uh, the way that you explained it, 